And we're going to go straight back to the Dangote refinery, refinery where we have Abi Olawi speaking to the president himself, Alaji Aliko Dangote. Earlier we had heard him speak and now we have an opportunity to interview him. Abi, over to you. Hello, good morning, Ayo, good morning, I'm not sure who's in studio, Dr. Reben, uh, Rufai, I'm not sure who's in there, but of course it's another momentous occasion, we're here live at the Dangote Refinery and Petrochemical Complex, uh, of course, first time in 28 years we are having a petroleum, pro petrol PMS premium motor spirits being uh, produced in Nigeria, and uh, with me, of course, I have the president uh, himself of the Dangote Group, as well as Fatima Dangote and Mr. Edwin, Edwin Devakuma, these are very familiar faces of course but uh, we ha we're quite pressed for time so I just want to ask what let's just capture your sentiment on what this moment represents for you as a group I know a lot of work is happening you've had a colorful few months uh, last few months but let's talk about what this represents of course you're holding the very liquid gold right now well this represents uh, you know a very historic monumental uh, you know achievement which I think I must congratulate the people of Nigeria and uh, the government of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu for giving us all the support to be where we are today. Uh, this achievement, really, you are right, in the last 28 years, we haven't really had this sort of achievement. But you can see that even uh, uh, there are some videos of 1974, which we have fuel queues. And those fuel queues, they are still here. This will eliminate all fuel queues in Nigeria. This will improve the health of everybody. This will also make sure that, you know, uh, there is consistent supply to the market. It will also bring the real demand of PMS, no paper transaction. It will also help to make sure that, uh, you know, it corrects this distortion of the Naira, bring stability to the Naira, bring uh, growth and growth, development, and prosperity. So we want to thank Nigerians for being behind us to be where we are today. But this is a very, very historic moment. It certainly is, and so much to look forward to. Of course, you're holding the priced uh, material, the priced gold here. Simo, of course, you and Edwin have also been a part of this process. How do you feel about this moment? We spoke earlier, and which I will update our audience later about, you know, when things are going to happen, when it will hit the market. Of course, that's subject to the NNPC, but let's get your, your brief sentiments on it very quickly. Well, um, history has been made. Um, we're really excited, and we're glad and happy to be um, part of this history and the ones making um uh, the history is an exciting time for us uh, and I'm sure it's a, an exciting time for uh, the whole of Nigeria as well. So we're really excited to be here today to witness this history being made. Right, absolutely and so is the rest of the country. So Edwin, let's just get a quick word from you as to what to expect. What, Of course this, I mean a lot of Nigerians are agog with expectations. The expectations are up there and I know there's only so much you can say right now but what can you tell us in terms of what we should look forward to? Well, to begin with, I will say what you will be seeing today. It's a moment of pride for every Nigerian, every African, and every entrepreneur. Count, you can count with your fingers the number of entrepreneurs who have taken $20 billion, almost its entire wealth, and put the, take a risk and invested in Nigeria just to turn the history around so that you can add value to the product within the country, and create employment within the country. So it's a time for every Nigerian, every African to be proud that somebody could take this much of courage and risk to venture in. And about the future, if somebody can do this, he can do much, much more. Absolutely, no, no words have, have, have been wiser. Of course, we will, you have to leave now, so we're not going to uh, be able to carry on much longer. But of course, we will carry on updating our audience as to developments for today. Um, we've been able to see what the tests have been and, of course, the products. Do you want to just speak to what this is really? And then, yeah. This one is the uh, gasoline. This is the PMS. Uh, you can see the diesel. You know, because I'm sure most Nigerians, they have never ever seen this uh, color of diesel. But this is what you call Euro 5 diesel. It's less than 10 ppm. And, uh, you know, I mean, that is sulfur-wise. Okay, so this is what will really help, actually, to help the engines, vehicles, you know, you name it. You know, generators, it will, they will last much, much longer. 
the health of people to the environment will not be polluted. This is the real thing. Euro 5 diesel for the first time in the history of Nigeria. And of course, you went through some rigorous testing to get to this point. Very briefly, you, you know me, I'm not going to let you go now. So could you just speak to what exactly were you tested for? We are actually testing for all parameters. And I think it will be good maybe before you go, you can go and put up a little bit of, uh, you know, this, I know you've done it before, but you can go with uh, Mr. Edwin since I'm rushing to the airport and show you our lab. Our lab actually does not have, is not number two, it's number one in the world. And I can, you know, beat my chest and tell you that. All right. Well. Lots to look forward to. We unfortunately have to wrap up. I want to thank you so much and congratulations once again to the Dangoto Group. Uh, Aya, over to you in the studio. Uh, we will carry on and keep um, share some more updates as the day proceeds.